Gale off the mark. Will it be a boundary first ball? Yes, it will. Just a little bit too much room by Sean Pollock. Whip. Chris Gale thrives on that. This outfield is lightning quick at the Wanderers. There was a misfield there at backward point. South Africa pride themselves on their fielding standards, so they'll be disappointed with that. to big wicket, Maximum all the way into the dugout. Teammates are on the feet in that dugout, in that area that's just outside of the boundary, real close to the boundary. Full of length. Ripped away again, one bounce for it, over mid wicket, boundaries are flowing. Full of length, full of shots. Smashed away, all the way. It's got balls, that's an awesome shot, straight over the ball is it. Not easy to do to Makai and Tini. Chris Gale on fire. Standard delivery shot this. Dances are off, any opportunity. Look at this for a shot. He's so dangerous, impossible to contain. And he's in full swing. On the high field, the ball travels a long way. And again, repeat shot, standing up Myers, huge hit, all the way again, Chris Dale, six more, 42 without loss. Dances are off, any opportunity. Look this for the shot. He is so dangerous, impossible to contain, and he's in full swing. On the high floor, the ball travels a long way. I've forgotten that altitude. Yeah. There he goes again. He hasn't hit it all that well, but he will get four for it. Finds a gap, just throwing the bat. 50 partnership, the first 50 partnership in the tournament in the opening innings. And it's been all Chris Gale. He moves to 39 off 17 deliveries. That's his third four. The match is third six, three sixes. Cracked away for four. Beats the fielder and third man. Well, the, the ball flies a lot further in the atmosphere here in the Transvaal. Where? At an elevated height, about six and a half thousand feet. But what they don't tell you is the outfield is also very fast. The ball travels very quickly across the ground. All the way, short ball and ready handle, very effectively by Devon Smith. West Indies motoring on here. 68 without loss off seven. Galen strike. That's a brilliant piece of fielding. Well, what Morkel's done with that really good bouncer in his last over is push Gale onto the back foot. That's the sort of delivery that earlier in his innings he would have crunched for a straight six. But you can see there he's on the back foot because he's a little worried about the uh, the bounce and pace of Morkel. Excellent fielding to save a run. No wonder he fielded it so well as his brother. Very slack running in contrast to the fielding. They only took two for it. Gail assumed that it was going to be four. In fact, when the ball was relayed, he had to hurry it into his ground just two runs off it. Third man over his head, six, just got the fingertips to it. Just an indication of how the ball flies through the air here in Johannesburg at elevation. 
Well, that must be really annoying for a bowler. He would have been thinking that's going straight down third man's throat. He's definitely got Gale onto the back foot. But in the, the rarefied air here in the Transvaal, it's carried a long way. Shade of and I think. Jayasuri as well. They can belt the ball, so can Gale. And 50 for Chris Gale. Chris Gale, first 50 of the ICC 20 World 2007. What an innings it has been. Typical of Chris Gale. Blowing like a hurricane. gone they've distributed hard hats here among the crowd as they came in just for that eventuality because Chris Gale can really ping somebody tonight in the mood that he's in he's hit five sixes now that's gone away now wides will it be yes so wide and the four buys counting as five. Starts with a wide, in fact. This is uh, the other one. This is Albie. Morn was the one who's taken over from his brother. And Albie starts with a leg side wide. Spoke too soon. You spoke too soon, Chapelli. That's more than a six. It only comes to six in the book, but it really was worth 12. It's a huge hit from Chris Gale, who now gets the record, moves ahead as the batsman who has hit more sixes than any other in the 20 overs form of the game. What a massive blow. Bang through the offside this time for another boundary. This is quite remarkable batting here by Chris Gale. He's now moved on to 68 from 33 deliveries. That's his fourth foot four. He's had six sixes. There hasn't been a hundred yet in uh, 2020 international cricket. He's got an well, he's got an enormous chance to do it. We're not even at the halfway mark yet. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, nowhere to hide when you're bowling to Chris Gale in this type of form. Highest score achieved in a one-day international is 98 not out. Gale is 77 with almost nine overs left. We're looking beyond 100 yet. Over, over, for just a brief, minuscule moment, long on would have thought, there it comes, and then he would have said, there it goes. My team score was 201, so West Indies have got a chance of surpassing that as well as they go along in this vein. Another excellent stroke, over mid on this time. Something big here. Something big here. Something very big here. Something humongous. What do we have boundary lines for? Throw them away. Can't afford to miss your area when you're bowling to Chris Gale. Sean Pollock was looking for the Yorker, but he wasn't full enough. Chris Gale was able to free his arms. He did over mid on for another towering six. How big was that? Will we see that in Test match cricket soon, I wonder? That is the most sensational shot of the day, and we've seen a few. Because he's flicked that 30 yards out of the boundary line. 14 of the over, 145 for no loss. Was there a nick? There was! The wicket goes down, that may not be a bad thing. 
Demet Mihalovic struggling a little bit, but he made 35 from 34. That we call it a struggle is indicative of what Gail has done at the other end. The class South Africa get a wicket. Devon Smith out for 35, 145 for 1. Oh, they've got something to celebrate, these South Africans. Was how it happened. It took a while. Vernon Philander is the man taking the wicket outside edge, straight to Mark Boucher. Devon Smith is on his way. Belated breakthrough for South Africa. So, wicket for Vernon Philander. There it goes. Oh dear, oh dear. Redefine these boundaries. Did he hit that? Did he slog it? Did he miss it? We don't care. That was just a good hook shot. Vernon Philander thinking he'll go for another short delivery. This time, Samuels was ready for it. Over square leg. Onto the grass bank as well. Now Samuels. Miss it. Man is waiting under. Takes it easy. Pollock picks up a wicket. And Samuels has gone for six. Maybe De Villiers, the catcher, at deep mid off. So 152 for two in the 15th over. Samuel, six from four balls. That was how he got out. Samuels looking to make room to clear the boundary. And easily underneath. Villiers took it quite easy. So Pollock in his last over picks up a wicket. He's gone for a few runs already, but he won't mind the wicket. One hundred not out. Are we seeing history here? One hundred and one to Chris Gale. What a man! What an innings! What a way to set this tournament alight! What a wonderful way to start this tournament. Chris Gale at his very best, scoring the first century in this format of the game. And they do a little dance as well. Dear, 101 not out. I'll tell you what, he's got five and a half overs left. And at the moment, we're through with 67 minutes with five to play. That is, I don't know actually, <laughs> it's just another great shot. He just slapped that past the bowler. We've said that this outfield's very quick, deep mid off. Herschel Gibbs, there's no mean fielder himself, had no chance. Low full toss, beautifully struck by Chris Gull. There was a time, wasn't there, when a low full toss was a good ball. Ten of the over. 161 five to play. 200's gone. Oh, that's out somewhere in the golf course. No, just misses the golf course. What a poor shot. Just misses the golf course. Ten sixes. 167 for two. Three men on the leg side within the restricting area. Just one on the off. There goes Gale again down the ground for another boundary. Well, it's a good thing Morkel wasn't in the way of that one. He would have broken a bone. Well, it's a good job he's injured, Chris Gale. He's not bothering to run at all. Dances are off again. Oh, I wish I could do that. Here's Gale again, 117. There he goes. This is the end of Chris Gale. Boucher is under it and kicks it. That's the end of one of the finest innings you'll ever see. No matter what form of the game, Graham Smith comes across, shakes scale by the hand. Excellent sportsmanship, Justin Kemp as well. It's been a remarkable exhibition of pyrotechnic batting by Chris Gale. He finishes 117 off 57 deliveries. The West Indies are 178 for three. And as David Lloyd was saying, we were here. 178 for three. Dwayne Smith uh, says his favorite shot is a hook shot. He's not telling the truth. His favorite shot is over long on mid wicket.
that's where he's going to aim for. He's a big six hitter. He may favor the hook shot, but that's where he gets most of his sixes. And he's a big six hitter, Dwayne, Dwayne Smith. He's got 21 deliveries, including that. 179 for three. 180 for three, off to 16.4. Chris Gale, take a bow. Absolutely stunning. This is the end. Forget the end, it's what we've seen before. 117 from 57 deliveries, Chris Gale. Four. Edge and four. Doesn't matter how they come at this stage, and that's how they usually come at this stage. The bat will be thrown, the edge is found every now and again, and boundaries registered. Well bold, caught behind. West Indies just start losing their way a bit here. Back is, uh, South Africa clawing their way back into it. 188 for five now. Well, it's Chandler Paul this time. 11 from 10 deliveries. And Nick through to Boucher. He does the rest. The wicket for Van der Vaart. That's a fine shot. Dangerous little bats when the keeper. Dennis Ramden gets off the mark. Well, it's a boundary four. It bounces once just before third man boundary down there. Anything wide on this pitch will get clattered, cluttered. And that's gone away. That could be six. It could well be and is. Well, Ramnare Shawan said when he came on on our screen that his favourite shot is a square cut. It went square, it was cut, and went for six. He did say it, did he, with one hand? Outrageous strong. Look at that. That's one boundary, this over, so far. Two balls to go. Here he goes. It's a catch. Taken. Amy De Villiers, the fielder, doesn't drop much. And certainly wasn't going to drop that one. So Sawan goes. West Indies have already climbed up now for the highest score in a 2020 international on this ground. Sawan goes for 12. One ball remaining, 204 for six. The West Indies put into bat, remember, a formidable 205 for six. Chris Scale, a magnificent 117 from 57 balls, seven fours and ten huge sixes with a strike rate of 205. Next top scorer, Devon Smith, he and Chris Scale put on an opening partnership of 145 in just 13.3 overs. On well, the bowling, some bruised figures here. Sean Pollock, four overs, one for 52. Makai Rantini, two overs, none for 19. Johan van der Watt, two for 33 in his four overs. Morny Morkel, four overs, one for 30. Vernon Philander, four overs, two for 35. And two overs from Albie Morkel and Graham Smith cost South Africa 32 runs. So the target for the South Africans, they would have to reach 206 in their 20 overs to beat the West Indies, and their asking rate would start at a staggering 10 plus per over. Their reply straight after the break. Great start, that is. Pace, 140 Ks. Good evening, Ian. And good evening to Mr. Smith. Cop that. And the important thing, Darren Powell right on line with the first one. It looks as though he might have just caught uh, Smith on the wrist. He's, he's whole wringing his hand. He didn't have a clue where the ball was. And I'd say it's got him on the wrist. Well, come on, Captain. It's been mayhem out there. You've been trying to organise the field, your bowlers, you're looking at the score. West Indies get 205. Graham Smith gets his pads on. The first delivery, smack. Darren Powell, dead straight, short, quick. Smack, that'll do. Ursula Gibbs joins the party. Eight without loss. 
Well, it's putting a lot on uh, Herschel Gibbs now. If, if Smith can't hit the boundaries, then they're going to rely very heavily on Herschel Gibbs. Gibbs is a terrific striker of the ball. If you're just joining us, Chris Gale, 117 in 53 deliveries. West Indies, 205 for six. That will do. That will do nicely. All the way. 20 without loss. Oh, this time Graham Smith gets hold of that all the way. Yes! Once again, he was able to use the bottom hand. West Indies, if they've got any sense, they'll just keep it right up to him and make him drive. As long as he can use that bottom hand and work the ball over the onside, he can probably get away with it. Terrific lead. Gibbs now. Gibbs, another big shot. Too short. So there we are, the free hit, and they're not allowed to change the field because the uh, same batsman is still on strike. This is grateful. Five scored so far. Overstepping front line. Anything goes, Herschel. Anywhere you like, you cannot be out. Get ready, it's showtime. Very close. Spears it away through. Right it on. Does it go all the way? Great effort. Oh, great effort. Smashes through the outside. Should go all the way. Quick enough outfield. Gets there. Adrenaline is taking him forward. I saw the blow that he took. First ball of the innings. He's had some pain killing tablets, but he's fine in the boundary. Tough cookie. Smith, injured or not, just getting South Africa into momentum here. No fine leg, another boundary, things getting away from the West Indies here. Good shot by Graham Smith, poor delivery though, it has to be said, no fine leg down the leg side, easy pickings for Smith. Likes the ball on the leg side, he's very strong in that area. Just a bit of panic now. In the West Indian ranks, the last over of the restrictions. Six over, so it's a pretty important one. Big on, straight into the extra cover. Calmly taken. So Graham Smith, brave innings, comes to an end. The West Indies get their first wicket. But he's remained out there with a purpose, Graham Smith, the captain, 54 for one. Very well caught by uh, Chris Gale. His uh, superb evening continues. That was the first wicket to fall taken by Chris Gale, as we said. Foolish delivery, Graham Smith trying to go over cover, didn't get hold of it well enough, straight to Chris Gale at extra cover. He's in good form. He and uh, Graham Smith prospered against Australia in that victory in the warm-up match. Now he faces Ravi Rampal. And he's given him the square cut. He's missed it because it's too wide. It's 
going to go away. They'll pick up a couple to finish off the last ball of the six over. The field restrictions are now lifted. 54 without loss to West Indies were 59 for one South Africa. Certainly in the context of the, the game, perhaps uh, almost equating with uh, his namesakes, Asafa Powell's world record on the same day. Over the top, well struck, fielder out there and uh, lost it. Comes back for a couple. Bravo, you would expect to have caught that. I get the impression he wasn't quite sure where he was in relation to the boundary. He released the ball. He made very good ground to get to it because it was going like a bullet. Bravo came around on the cover boundary, got there comfortably in the end. Just couldn't hang on to it. Would have been a wonderful catch if he caught it, but he is a good catcher, he is a good fielder. How expensive will that be? What a blow! What a blow! We've seen several this evening. And uh, Herschel Gibbs picks up that one and sends it a long way. Double for the West Indians now. A massive difference. Next delivery goes out of the ground. Herschel gives his innings is gaining momentum. He's a very dangerous player. Just checking here to see where it's dropped. The umpires, whether it's four, whether it's six. It looks to be a four. Not quite carrying. So not quite off the middle of the bat. In the air and gone. He's got enough onto it for another six. It's raining sixes here at the Wanderers tonight. Very good shot good by Evan Villiers. Came down the wicket, kept his head nice and still. Hit right through the line and cleared the long on boundary comfortably. This one doesn't quite carry, but there's another four here. So a nervy start for Dwayne Smith, a wide, a six and a four. Now South Africa begin just to, to make progress. The kind of progress they need to get up to the West Indies total. Well, that was the thing before the tournament started. Spin would have an effect. Neither of these two teams have much spin. Down the leg side, four again. It comes for five because it's another wide. You'll have to pull another delivery. 14 wides against the West Indies in eight overs. In the air, who's going to catch it? Somebody's asking for it. Rumpel, the keeper. Ramden it is, who takes the catch. It went up miles. Well-judged catch by the keeper. He called for it, he's got the gloves. Not easy, those. 88 for two, and that's a crucial wicket. De Villiers goes for 16. South Africa lose their second wicket. Maybe De Villiers going for the high risk option, hitting across the line, getting a top edge. That ball went a long way up. Good keeping by Ramden. He got underneath it easily. He didn't panic. Caught it well. Palestinians needed a wicket, and Fidel Wayward's provided it. And his favourite method of scoring is hitting sixes. He's a big fellow. He's got a reputation as a six hitter. He comes in now with two wickets down. it gone just dropping inside the boundary only runs from the back in the over 93 for two no fine leg clever shot very clever shot by Herschel Gibbs he 
He knows exactly where the field is set and flicked it away for a boundary. Cheeky little sweep shot, premeditated, but Herschel Gibbs has got the ability and the talent. He can do this. Just a flick of the wrist over short fine leg down to the boundary. Inside edge, no third, no fine leg, four more. Always dangerous without a fine leg, always dangerous. Inside edge can go away as that one did. It's a case of standing to live now. Herschel Gibbs probably feels he can't run anymore, so he's just going to try and look for the big shot at every opportunity. Swing across the line, inside edge. Bravo has been unlucky there. That could easily have gone straight onto the stumps. to ask why don't those go for four in a 50 over game why do they do so in a 20 over game well they used to play that shot uh, way back in the 1800s they used to call it the the back draw now it's just classed as a french cut inside edge but it works well lots of elevation is there enough distance? Oh, he dropped it. Very difficult catch, but he dropped it. He had to know where the boundary line was. He's a fine fielder, Chandrapur. Not good enough. Well, you would have thought the ball was up there that long. You would have thought that he had enough time to get around and camp under the ball. Chandrapur is normally an excellent uh, fielder. Good slower ball has caused Gibbs to hit it very, very high. Chanderpaul, I think he must have been worried about the rope. That's the only thing that's caused him to drop it. Isn't that interesting? It's gone all that way of the keeper's pad. He just slanted down the leg side. I'll tell you what, even that first over, he conceded 20, might have gone for more. Because Randin kept wonderfully to him down the leg side. Look how far this one's gone. Slanted down the leg side. So taken off the keeper's pads on the edge of the circle. And for the other direction. It's not looking like a good idea already. This is all hectic. Is it tiring being a spectator? I think there's so much enthusiasm. 50 to Herschel Gibbs and he's found his mark. It'll be more than 50. Goes up to 53. Already 11 from the over from three balls. Charles and Stevie Wonder would bowl on that wide. Well, he's moved away. He did end up chopping the ball onto the stands, but he moved away. And he moved away in time as well. Yes, just look at the way he's bowling. I mean, he's, he's bound to go down the leg side. That's why he's angling the ball. He doesn't go down the leg side, he's angling it into the pads. ready enough at one point coming under it he dropped it he dropped it they're putting them down today and the good fielders putting them down that might have gone higher than the uh, lights 137 for two at the moment they're in they're in danger of wasting a wonderfully good batting performance as the 50 partnership comes up between the injured Gibbs Justin Kemp. Stop it for change of bats. I just wonder when we worked out, the ICC did. You need to bowl 20 overs in 80 minutes. 
normally when you say you've got to bowl 15 overs in an hour in test match cricket you factor in loss of wickets normal time lost four look like a gentle nudge ah oh, no you see he's got the right bat now makes all the difference one absolutely raced away I'd, I'd stick with that bat there's your Durban boys there they'll be on the flight with you Harsha well I hope they change their flags by the time they watch India play or whoever it is they're going up to tomorrow of course it's Pakistan versus Scotland in that group in Durban and he's found the gap there as well now I think he played that intentionally Never stop flowing. It's like the Amazon in flow. Well, you can understand why people love this format of the game. You do your day's work, you come along, you see uh, you see a game of cricket with lots of e excitement, uh, plenty of boundaries. Tonight we've seen lots of sixes, and you get a result. Could not agree more. Ravi Rampal comes back. Easy as that. Easy as that. Need 40 fielders in this game. Well, South Africa have got the equation into a position where they they would expect to win this now. More runs. Starting to wonder here. How do people set fields? How is it that what was once considered inventive is now just the norm? This will be six. Fifteen from that over. Here's the meter, and it's hit it again. Length balls are not working. 21 from the over, 169 for two. Almost took his hand off. Hammered with ferocious power. South Africa doing it in style now. Only blitz is this. Gibbs has moved on to 69 from 47 deliveries. Record for the third wicket. Another boundary. Record third wicket partnership in all 2020 internationals. At this stage, after 15 overs and five balls, the West Indies were 176 for two. South Africa 179 for two. So from that point of view, it looks... Uh, to be touch and go but in effect South Africa have this match wrapped up one run off the over it's 180 for two no fine leg it'll go away for four so many runs have been given away into that vacant fine leg position this evening it's a dangerous ploy not to have a fine leg down the ground over his head six now down to single figures well it's a cruncher is this look at Sawa cannot believe it dancing in the crowd and the band played on smiles on that bench there he's in some stunning shots 82 from 52 Gibbs seven to win over long off away it goes Sawan has brought in the field and Gibbs has just hit it over the top Easy as you like. He won't have time to get the second hundred of the night. 
y Jerry Sex. That's it, all over. South Africa have won the first match in the inaugural ICC World 2020. And a quite magnificent innings of 117 by Chris Gale has been trumped by Gibbs's 90 and by the other South Africans. They finished 208 for two. We've had fireworks galore this evening on and off the field. What a spectacle this has been. Start the car, handsome. It's been fabulous, fantastic entertainment. The players have put on a show here. What a show this has been. 32,000 packed in. We've seen dancing, we've seen music, we've seen drummers, we've seen fireworks. Have we seen some fours and sixes? Brilliant. A phenomenal response from the South Africans getting there in 17.4 overs, 208 for two, with Herschel Gibbs 90 not out from 55 deliveries, 14 fours and two sixes, his strike rate 173, and Justin Kemp finishing the job, 46 not out from 22 balls, his strike rate 209. The West Indies bowlers, Darren Powell, none for 34. Ravi Rampal, the same figures as Sean Pollock, four overs, one for 52. Dwayne Smith, two overs from him, cost the West Indies 37 runs. Fidel Edwards, three overs, one for 21. Dwayne Bravo, 2.4 overs, none for 39. And Marlon Sandals, two overs, none for 21. So the summary of this first match of the ICC World 2020, the West Indies, 205 for six with that magnificence.